this video, I'm going to show you how to seam out the sides of a pillow. And in a later video, I'm going to show you how to put a invisible zipper in the end of it. So in this one, we're gonna work on the mattress stitch to make a seam that looks like this and solve for this end because we're gonna start from here and go to here. So stay tuned and we'll sew the seams together. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. For the pattern for this pillowcase, you can find it in the video links in the description below. And uh, I won't be putting the zipper in in this video, but I just wanted to show you what I'll be working on. I've made this flat panel and I'm folding it over and I want to sew up the side edges to fit in this pillow form here. And so what I'm doing is I'm working on a mattress stitch, sewing that up by hand with my yarn and a wide-eyed tapestry needle. And we're actually starting at the ends here and I'm leaving a little bit of room so I can sew in my invisible zipper that I'll do on another video. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is your wide-eyed tapestry needle and your uh, yarn. We're gonna start on this edge over here. I've already done this side to show you what this looks like and what the uh, end looks like. Now I purposely don't have um, going up to the very uh, corner here, this stitch pattern, it's okay. It's just what I've intended for this particular pillow. So that it sort of flattens up uh, along the top and that's okay. But uh, I'm gonna show you on the other side of this. So go ahead and grab your materials and we'll get started. Now, normally you'd wanna use the same color of yarn with your uh, seaming. In this case, I'm just gonna show you it starting off with this um, white yarn here, and I'll switch to uh, um, my same color yarn in the end because I really do wanna finish up this pillow. So uh, I've got a little ruler here, and you want to start in about a quarter of an inch from the end. You can see that I've uh, started that in. Um, it's mostly eyeballed. I mean, you can put this up here as a guide, uh, but it's just to give a little bit of allowance for when you sew up this larger opening for say, putting in a zipper or doing this uh, on this end over here. So start in about a quarter of an inch. And just to, so you know, this particular seam um, makes uh, a, um, a seamed edge. It's, it's rough on one side and then it's smooth on the other. And this is for things that you don't need to see the other side of it. It's just a nice, uh, pretty edge. Okay, so let's go to this other side over here. Go ahead and thread your needle. Okay, so I have my wrong sides together and I'm just gonna put my uh, bind off edge and my cast on edge near each other. Doesn't matter which is on what side, but just that you know that this is gonna be your seam here. And I'm gonna go up about a quarter of an inch. Again, I can measure that. And I'm gonna go in uh, a stitch over from the column, uh, this uh, salvage edge here, we're gonna go in between here. So I'm gonna go up from the bottom and pull through, leaving about a six inch tail. And then you're gonna go up through that same stitch again to secure your tail. that around the side okay now that's nice and secure in if you pull on this uh, it shouldn't go anywhere so you want to make sure it's tight enough it's not going anywhere okay grab the next side and you can now see where that quarter inch is we're gonna go uh, down and uh, pull up through a couple of stitches uh, next to the selvage edge to get it through this next part we want to seam to okay and uh, now we can get started. So you're gonna go over to this other side where the selvage edge is, is, where your yarn is coming out. We're going to put our needle under and pull up two ladders. So I'm going to go under here and pull up. There's one ladder and then two ladders. And then come all the way through. And now I'm gonna leave this a little loose so you can see it. I'm gonna go to the other side where the yarn came out last put my needle in there and lift up and we want to go through two ladders over here. So we have one and two and pull through. Okay, you see that just like that. Okay, now we're gonna go back over to the stocking net edge, go up, uh, through the hole where we came out last and pull up two ladder 
stitches and pull through and zigzag back over to the other side and this pattern over here go down where our stitch was and try and find the next two laddered yarns. Now this is a very patterned um, a stitch pattern over here. It's not as clear cut as the stockinette, but you want to continue going in a straight line. So you always want to follow where that yarn came out last. And you just continue going back and forth, zigzagging across back and forth until you come all the way until the end. So in this one, we have the corner edge of a pillow and it's very different how to finish it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward to where I am when I have my other colored yarn and I'll show you how to finish it off. I do wanna show you what this looks like with the same color yarn in here. Uh, this is what it looks like as it's nice and loose. And when you get far enough along, even just a few inches, you can go ahead and pull this tight. Go ahead and hold on to your end one just in case you don't have it secure enough and just pull it through and you can see it uh, zip up and tighten up. It's just kind of this magical moment. <laughs> so about every few inches, I go ahead and uh, pull that tight as I go along, it's just easier. You can wait until the end to pull it in, but then if it's snagged on anything, uh, I think it's just easier to do it as you go and tighten it as you go. So you can always pull it apart and find where the last part you came out. So this was right here, and then we can follow this lead over here and find where our next stitches go, okay? and then come back over and do it over here. All right, so continue on. I'll meet you at the end of your pillow. See you soon. Okay, so I'm up towards the top. I have a little bitty opening here and I'm gonna keep going until the very tip, uh, just like over here. Now this particular pattern, um, the, pattern uh, the pattern side actually stops just short of the edge and that's just a design thing, but you can uh, certainly do yours um, uh, up and make them even. It just happens to be the way this particular pillow is designed. Anyway, so I'm coming out uh, this side, so I wanna go back to where I was here. So I'm gonna follow this yarn over, and there we go. We're gonna go back in to that hole and pick up two ladders, pull through. I wanna get too small for me to be able to stick my finger in and kind of find my way. I'm going to start folding this in, okay? Oops. And here we go. Getting closer. Just want to show y'all as it gets closer for me what this looks like. Okay. My fingers are pretty big, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing it. So now I can sort of start tucking this in. And I'm gonna leave these stitches nice and loose and not um, Pull too much so I'm coming over and you can see this stretching across I know it's the same color but bear with me so follow this over and go in and pull up the stitches leave it loose come over here do it again leave it loose come over here do it again and now we're really getting up to the top here and you can kind of start pushing it in and see that little that yarn Kind of pulling up just go in here pick up a few more and really these are the last few ones so you can just kind of arbitrarily pick a spot go ahead and kind of zip it up get that nice and tight and then kind of poke it towards this direction kind of poke it on the inside like this kind of roll it and push it and now we can just pick a spot here in the tip and push it onto the inside. And I'm gonna go turn this inside out. Oh, let's not use, lose my yarn here. Before I turn it inside out, let's thread this back on here. There we go. And feel for this needle inside. There we go. Pull it through. Okay, and so now we've um, successfully closed that up. You can just kind of loop over and make another little loop here and then go through it and tighten that up with the knot. Um, I usually like to go through a few more times, just some of the seam here and just weave in this little tail. And then you can Go back in the opposite direction or just cut it here that's fine i just leave a little bit long no one's going to see that and turn inside out and you are done 
So that's what this edge looks like. And just so you see what this pillow looks like, I'm going to throw my uh, pillow form in. I'm just going to get the tip here and pinch on it, pull it all the way in. And this is now ready for putting in a zipper and the top will look like this. It's kind of that look so you have a kind of a flat top and then you do that little karate chop <laughs> designer sort of look on your uh, bed or sofa or couch or whatever. All right, thank you so much for joining me today, learning how to make the mattress stitch. You can see how beautiful it looks and it's just a nice design to incorporate. You can do stockinette to stockinette, or as you see here, a pattern with stockinette. Join me on my next video where we put in our invisible zipper. You can do a regular or an invisible zipper, either one. We'll do that on the next one. We'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.